Well, hello, uh, everybody. It's the end of the week. We've had a fantastic week, a lot of laughs and a lot of good games, and I'm sure we've got well in store today. But I can I just say at the beginning of this, uh, our friends in the, in the WI, the great WI movement, they never cease to uh, amaze me. Here's a letter from uh, a member of the WI, Mrs Pat Abbott, who lives in Bolton. Uh, Dear Richard, please find the enclosed one of my over-the-hill dolls. I'm a member of Stonecliff WI, and I've been making these dolls for a fundraising event. On Christmas Eve, when Carol Vorderman celebrated her 40th birthday, I felt she had reached a landmark and she would find one of these dolls useful. Appreciating your wicked sense of humour and the undoubtable rapport between you, I thought you would enjoy the privilege of presenting it to her. Well, as you can see, I just gave it to her before the programme started. Would you like to tell us about it? <laughs> it's great, actually. Uh, well, you start at the top. You have dizzy spells, bifocals, which I haven't got yet, false teeth, double chin, heartburn, <laughs> arthritis. You come down saggy boobs. I haven't got those, but Richard has. Um, indigestion, uh, incontinence. <laughs> and then it goes on the back, goes, thin hair, grey hair, forgetful. Have I read that before? Oh, no. uh, frozen shoulder, constipation <laughs> and hemorrhoids. Baggy bottom, cellulite, corns and gout. Show it to the camera. We need a close-up of it. It's so good. That's it. Look, it's wonderful. Look, all the things you get when you're over the hill. That's fantastic. <laughs> And it says, over the hill doll, stick pins in as symptoms of ageing arises. Warning, you may need more pins. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, well done. That's very good. How many of those have you got, Carol? Can you count, that, can you count that high? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, well, that's great. Very good indeed. Well, what have we got here? Well, we've got a new champion, which is always terrific. That's great. So, welcome new champion Stan Airy and good character here challenging him, Marge Ramson. Welcome, Stan and Marge. <laughs> well, it was a good uh, game yesterday. Crucial conundrum. We hadn't had one for a day or two. And uh, Stan, the roofer from Litchfield, leapt to the heights of the champion's chair. So you feel a bit uh, more relaxed today? I do, yeah, definitely. Yep, good yes. man, OK. Yeah. Well, a great performance. But here's Marge, and she also, she would have got that crucial conundrum yesterday. Uh, so she's in good form. She's from Gosport, married with four grown-up children. Grown she up, is retired. Yeah. Retired from what, Marge? The club work. I used to run a club. Oh. And Did um, you have a book, Lionel Blair, there? <laughs> well, we could never get hold of him, actually. Aww. We couldn't quite afford him. Aww. Aww. No, no, you couldn't. You could now. Could now. We could yeah. now. Yeah. Anyway... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her hobbies include indoor and outdoor bowls and old girls' reunions. In fact, Madge's first grammar school girls' reunion, her first old girls' reunion, came 50 years after she left the school. <laughs> well, it's best not to rush these things. Anyway, today Marge, Marge hopes to be waving goodbye to the champ and instead of a reunion, she'll tell him to split. So, lovely lady, Marge Ramson. Well, yeah, yesterday, the last time, uh, G's of the D triumph with the six-letter word, uh, agonate. Agonate, a legal term to do with the male line of dissension. Man, oh, man, I hope they do better today. There they are, you've seen them already in <laughs> testosterone corner, Damien Eady <laughs> and Lionel Blair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I need one of those dogs. Actually, there's a wonderful quote from Noel Coward who says, all one hopes in old age is that one's friends make it through lunch. <laughs> 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 so, yes. Well, we've got half an hour to go before yeah, tea, absolutely. so let's uh, fingers crossed. OK, Stan, off you go. Vowel, please, Carol. OK, Stan, we start with E. Consonant. D. Vowel. I. Vowel. O. Consonant. X. Vowel. U. Uh, consonant, please. W. Consonant, please. C. <laughs> and a final consonant. And a consonant. Thank you, Stan. And that's N. OK, Stan, here we go. Stan? Six. Six, Marge. I've only got five. Okay, Marge, what's the five? Mm. Oxide. Oxide, yes, oxide. 
Makes very good gravy out here. Uh, Stan? Winced. Winced. <laughs> Winced. Mm. Very good. Yes, uh, there's also coined. Coined. Coined phrase. Coined and winced. Coined. You can't any further than six. No. OK. Right. Well, Marge, off your turn now, please. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Marge. I need a second one. And please. another. That was B, that's R. A vowel. E. Another vowel. I. A consonant. L. Another consonant, please. T. And another. S. And a vowel. A. Another vowel. And you end with O. We certainly do. Off we go. Not with it. <laughs> Not with it? No. No, well, it's difficult with that, isn't it, actually? What have you got, Stan? Eight. No, perhaps. I have to say it's difficult when he no. comes up with eight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the eight, then? Bloaters. Bloaters? Yarmouth bloaters? What's about bloaters? I think, yeah. I'm we had bloaters sure the other day. Fish, I think. Okay, yes. Bloaters. You've had them, uh, Lionel. Oh, you yes. You must I, have done I, great Yarmouth summer uh, season. Yes. And an arbor, arbor of smoky. Arbor of smoky. Yes. yes, herring cured by smoking, yeah. yeah. Lotus, excellent. Well done, Stan. Okay. Yeah. I didn't do as well. I just, I got bolster, but bloaters, wonderful. Yes, very good. Could be that, that's super. No, good. that's very good, mm. that's excellent. Yeah, that's excellent. That's, that's shut us all up. That's it, put us in our place. <laughs> uh, well, Stan, it's back to you then. Uh, Val, please, Carol. Thank you, Stan. E. Consonant. V. Consonant. And T. Vowel, please. I. Consonant. R. Vowel. E. Consonant. N. Vowel. U. And the final consonant. Please. And the consonant, thank you. And G. OK, counting down. Seven. Good. Good. Here the six. Entire. The entire, yes, but now seven. Revenge. Revenge, indeed. If everything's there for revenge. I'm afraid you need three E's for revenge. Um, I'm oh. sure there are oh two dear. there. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. Can I go home and come back again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you feel. Revenge, no. So, yes. oh, dear, I got excited about that. Uh, entire gets it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I've got retinue. Mm. Seven. There is an eight there as well, which is everting, which is E V E R T I N G, which is to turn the structure inside out. Excellent. So, uh, well, poor old Marge. Uh, sorry, still a nice round figure, but it's now your numbers. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> one large one, please, and any other five. Okay, thank you, Marge. Please. We're going down this side of the track this time, and we have seven, eight, and nine counting up, not down. Three, nine, and seventy-five. Haven't seen that for a while. With a target of four hundred and fifty-nine. That's it. There we go. Four, five, nine.
Now, 459, then, Marge. 459. Good. Excellent. Stan. 459. Right. Well, Marge, here you go. 9 minus 3 is 6. It is. Times the 75. It's 450. And add the other 9. Absolutely right, Marge. 10 well points. Well Marge. Yes. <laughs> well done, Marge. Uh, can you tell can you tell Marge from butter? <laughs> <laughs> can you do can you, you can't do butter than Marge, Stan, but uh, what can you do? Exactly the same way. Same way? Yeah. Show it to Lionel. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Like I did it, Yes. Okay, well that's good. You're off the mark. That's ten to uh, Marge, thirty then to Stan. And into the break with you then, Lionel. Me. You. Yes. Have they done your this is your life? Yes. Yes. I'm so, sorry you weren't on it, actually. No, it's, I know I wasn't. I know I don't. Like, you played no part in my life at all. <laughs> I mean, <it's> <laughs> we know each other an awful long time. Well, you know, um, they did Robert Morley's "This Is Your Life," and Rex Harrison, who wasn't the nicest person to work with, apparently, and was very caustic and everything. And after they had done Robert Morley's "This Is Your Life," they met. Uh, it was shown on television, and they were walking through Burlington Arcade, and Rex Harrison came towards Robert Morley and said, "Oh, Robert." He said, I saw your This Is Your Life, how brave of you. But then you had one life, one wife, and if I may say so, one performance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's that wicked. And that uh, Sheridan Morley tells that, and I've got this book of Noel Cowardisms. And uh, later tomorrow, I shall quote a few of these. <laughs> OK, well, this is your countdown, and this is the commercial break, and we will say bye for now. We'll see you in part two. Thank you. All right, well, we're, we're back again and uh, uh, Stan, the man there on 30, but great performance by Marge now. She's back well and truly in the fame, raring to go. You're having the time of your life, aren't you, Marge? Indeed. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Yeah, well, a great lady, great trooper. Now, off you go, Marge. Nine lovely letters, please. Right, we'd have a consonant, please, to start with, Thank Carol. you, Thank Marge. You. P. And another. C. Please. A vowel. O. And another vowel. E. Another consonant. P. And another vowel. A. And a consonant again. T. Another consonant. R. And another vowel, please. And I. OK, thank you. Time, please. Yes, now, Marge. Just six. Right, again. Stan. Six. Six. They're both on six. Marge is six. Copper. Copper. Good, yes. Stan. A carpet. And carpet. Copper and carpets. We like those for six. Lionel. One fine day on earth. Very operatic. Oh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes. Operatic. Yes. Operatic. Four o syllables. Seems Opera to go on forever, doesn't operatic. it? Operatic. Yes. Yes. Shall I mime it for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, that was, of course, that was the great, give us a clue, the great afternoon, before ah. Countdown became the great ah. afternoon show, give us a clue was the great was afternoon. Was the thing, yes. That's right. Yeah. OK, well, well done, everybody. You've got scores there, 36 and 16. Uh, Stan, letters, please. <coughs> Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Stan. N. Vowel. O. Consonant. K. Vowel, please. A. <laughs> Vowel, please. Almost, almost mobile there. I, now you are. <laughs> <laughs> Consonant, please. N. Consonant. H. Vowel, please. E. And a final consonant. And a consonant, thank you. And P. Thank you. Clocking on.
right, Stan? Only five. Only five, Marge. I've mm, only got for one. Okay, all well, right. Well, what's the four then, Marge? I've only got a hake. A hake. A bit of hake. <laughs> Very fishy. Yes, hake. Um, Stan. Phone. How do you spell that? P H O N E. P H O N E. Yes, phone. There's also inane. Mm. But I. Yes. I can't beat those. There's nasty no. selection. Yes, really. it's not fun, that. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Um, inane and phone. I thought Nookie was going to be there. But it wasn't. <laughs> you can't have Nookie. <laughs> no, no Nookie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 46 and 16, no, 41, sorry, 41 and 16, and uh, Marge's letters. Start with a consonant again, please. Thank you, Marge. S. And another. D. And another one. And C. Another vowel, please. We'll start with a vowel now. Okay. Thank your pardon. <laughs> e. And a vowel. That was E, and this is A. And another. E. Another consonant. L. And another G. And a vowel. And a vowel, thank you. Please. And I. <laughs> Please. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Just six. Well, okay, Stan. Six. Stan, six. Ceased. Ceased. Marge. Sailed. Got an idea. S A I L E D. So, so, sailed. sailed. Sailed and. What was your staff? Ceased. Ceased. That's right, from memory. Uh, yeah, I've okay. Just, well, well, we had like this for six. I, I, I got silage and then I put d. Silage, d. Can you have silage? You can make it a verb, yes. Really? Yeah. Silage, d. Mm. Ah. Mm. It's a, you never hear that on the arches. Have you silaged, silaged that field, Phil, yet? <laughs> silaged, I got. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's in the book, but I don't think you'd use it very often. There is an, an eight there. Ah. Mm. Elegiax, which is a verse in an elegiac metre. You can add, add an S to it to make eight. Yeah. Ele elegiac, Carol. Carol? E-L-E-G-I-A-C-S. Yes. <laughs> Carol's using her body language to say, how do you spell it? Saying, Damien, will you spell it, please? <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Is that right? That's fine, yeah. yeah. So that's another four-letter, four syllables. Elegiacs. Mm. Yes. yes. Good. Yes. To do with poetry, anyhow. Right, 47, 22, two rounds left. Stand numbers, please. Two from the top, please, Carol. Yep. And any other four. OK, thanks, Stan. Right, we have nine and nine, eight and six, and from the top, 175, and a target of 494. Yeah, OK, 494. Yeah, well, 494 then, how did you stand? 500. Ooh, six away, chance for you here, Marge. 486. Well, uh, yeah, he's closer, isn't he? Yeah, 500. Is it 500 you got? It was, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll look at 500 then. Eight from nine is seven. Nine is. Huh? Oh, no. Eight <laughs> from nine is one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one from the six. Yes. It's five. Times the hundred. It's <laughs> <laughs> five hundred. Yeah, well, <laughs> he had to go for something, and he went for that five hundred. Well, it's not bad. It's six away, so it's five points. Could you help him out of his agony here? Okay, seventy-five uh, plus nine—that's eighty-four. Multiply that by six. That's five hundred and four, and then take away the ten. Is uh, four hundred ninety-four. Uh, call me, call me old-fashioned, but what ten? That, that 
10 with the naught on the end of it. Ah, that's a 10 these days, is uh, it? Yeah, I got that wrong, didn't I? I'm going to stick another pin in that doll, I think. <laughs> yes, <you're> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were only joking at the beginning of the programme, but perhaps not. Killed. OK, well, we can't get it. OK, not so good. Well, look, on we go. Let's get the conundrum right. Are you ready for this, Marge? We'll have a go at it. Have yes, a go, we'll good we'll girl. Are you ready for it, Stan? OK, here we go. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> That's the buzz of Marge to say. Opportune? Opportune. I love to hear you say it. You've got a nice voice. Say it Opportune? again. Opportune? Opportune. <laughs> well, is that the right tune? Let's have a look. It's the opportune, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, well done. You did OK in the end, Marge. You had a grim first half, of course, but right. uh, with 32 points, not bad, but 52 points. Well done, Stan. Second time, champion of countdown. Well okay. done, Stan. <laughs> well done. That's good, Marge. That's good. <laughs> Well, Marge, we hope you've enjoyed it. I think I've it, thoroughly I think enjoyed it. A lot of fun. I, I should you, have left my nerves at home. I bet you were aghast at the old girls' reunion. I absolutely... Well, it's absolutely wonderful. I mean, there's all these old people, oh. like myself. Yes. What school was this that you reunited? Um, Lewis County Grammar for girls. Right. And we meet once in August, and um, we go to Eastbourne for lunch now oh, this right. year. So we've... We well, got some came up from um, for the big one from Australia. Oh right, so, great um, reunion. I love, that, well, I love uh, I love school reunions. I, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, lovely. Go to your next <laughs> school reunion if you get an invitation. Because if you don't go, you know, nobody will go. Bring all your friends. You've got to bring go to your sure reunion. I'm sure I get you. Anyway, you're going now well, with a goodie bag in hand. Thank you, lovely lady, well, thank Marge you Ramson. Very Mike. much indeed. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> David Shorts. Hello, David. Well, David, you get that conundrum. I didn't get the conundrum, but I did get the last numbers game. OK, excellent, David. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you. He is from Cardiff, so that is it. Meanwhile, the two macho men over there, goodbye, have a great Cheers. weekend. Bye. And uh, don't, don't, don't applaud, don't applaud them. They're, pay, they're paid to be here. Carol? What? <laughs> Go and have a lie down, love. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet weekend in a darkened room. And a bottle of Sonata gin, yes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's it, everyone. Have a great weekend. Monday is our next date. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>